Good evening. Let's try a good, warm Texas welcome. Howdy, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Julie Shell, as I said, and I'm the director of on-ramps and strategic initiatives. And I'm really excited to be here with you tonight. And by way of introduction, I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself. I love school, and I always have. Some of us dream to be astronauts or surgeons or lawyers, and I dreamed of being a teacher. And when I was very young, I would wake up on Saturday mornings and run into uh, my brother in my playroom, and I would throw a towel over the TV, and I would get our little play table, and I would sit and very carefully sharpen four or five pencils, and then lay out really neatly some math problems for us to do. And when he would wake up, <clears throat> I would grab him and I'd, I'd drag him into the, into the room to, to play school. And I think this probably explains a little bit about our strained relationship at this point in our lives. Um, but I've always loved school and I've always wanted to be an educator. And so you can, you can imagine how it feels to me when I take the temperature of today's students and I listened to them and how they feel about school. So I went to the very reliable, statistically reliable barometer of Twitter to get a sense of how students feel about their schooling experiences. And it turns out that school doesn't have a great reputation among our young people. This hashtag, I hate school, is actually a really popular hashtag. School is often compared to things that make people want to inflict great bodily harm upon themselves, or that uh, make them feel as though they're experiencing a restriction of freedom. <clears throat> Again, uh, school is akin to torture. Some really special <laughs> statements for you um, pre-Cal and math folks. And this next one, for someone who's so in love and with education and so passionate about education, just really, it's really hard to read. I hate the fact that there's school tomorrow. I'm dead serious right now. I'd rather throw up and sit on it. Really? <laughs> You'd rather throw up and sit on it than go to school. These are really difficult to, for somebody who feels so strongly about the power of education to read. So some of them hint at why. A lot of the tweets hint at why uh, kids feel this way about school. Many of them talk about school being boring. School is boring. And I'd like to introduce you to this guy. This is the boredom monster. All the teachers in this room have met this guy. He's that big green blob that seeps down into your classroom and grabs your students' engagement and tension and motivation away from you. The this is the boredom monster. And he shows up a lot in their tweets. Completely bored out of my mind. I hate school. So um, being the inner optimist, I thought, oh, Julie, you're just looking at the wrong hashtag. You got to look up the I love school hashtag. But they just use that hashtag to reel you in and then hit you over the head. So just in case you social science and humanities folks thought you were safe, your disciplines are completely impractical. Um, and when I read this, I think to myself, oh, sweetie, <laughs> you really do need your English course. And this one really sums it up nicely. Who can relate to this one? <laughs> Who remembers what it is? Who's not pre-cal or stats, right? What is it? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Anyone want to take a guess what this number represents? <laughs> yeah, so, so actually those tweets, just in case you think I'm, I'm cherry picking a couple, uh, that, those tweets are, there's about 4,500 of those tweets in a three month period with the I hate school hashtag. But this number represents the number of hours that students spend in a compulsory schooling system 
that they feel this way about. So by the time they get to college, they've spent 10,800 hours in a system that makes them feel this way. But they're not the only ones that are important to the educational system. So I want you guys to think back to a couple years